New in 2015 is the ability to create 3D annotations, which are the foundation for PMI, or product manufacturing information. To begin, simply go to your icon and go to Options, and you'll see what your default standard will be set for your newly created scene templates. That could be the ANSI, GB, ISO, or GIS standards that could be selected. We'll just start off with ANSI here and say OK. And once you go to your annotations toolbar, you'll see new options for PMI annotations and a style manager. If you open the style manager, you'll see your current standard, which is ANSI in our case, and the various uh, dimension types that could be applied. You can actually just click on any one of these to see the standard setting information or adjust those as needed for your particular case. To create a PMI, simply just select an annotation type, click on an edge or a face, and you can see for annotations for linear dimensions, for example, if you select an edge, there's uh, multiple orientations that are possible, and hitting the tab key will toggle between those two options in this case, and just simply left click to place that, and in one command you can create multiple annotations. Once you hit OK, you'll see that there's a new icon that's created called PMI. And you'll see underneath that, there's three views that are defaulted created. And by default, our annotations went under the X, Y plane. In this case, if we double click on it, it'll orient to that view. And you will notice that that's actually the wrong plane for our annotations. And it may be better off in this viewing orientation or our own custom view that we want to create. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just create a new view just to say that maybe we want to actually create a view that looks in this direction and we want to move our annotations to that view. To do that, you simply just click on the PMI icon, right click and say create view. Make sure you give it a name. We'll say this is going to be our front view and you can do a projection view or even section views if you will. And we'll go ahead and just uh, pick a plane that we're going to be using in our origin point. And these are similar to your 2D sketch. You can use any one of these orientation types just to basically define your plane orientation or your viewing direction. And our, the viewing direction will be based on the XY orientation of the view. So we'll go ahead and hit OK to create our view. And now if we double click on our front view, we'll see that's our orientation that we want. Now to get our annotations to be associated with that view, we just select our two annotations in the tree right click and we can say change view and you'll see all the views that are possible here and we'll go ahead and select our front view and hit OK and you'll notice that they automatically moved inside of there. When you double click on these views you're activating those so any new annotations that are created are actually created in those views. So for example for now that this is active if we go ahead and create some additional annotations maybe a radial dimension or some other linear dimensions we can go ahead and just add those uh, to our to our view. Let's sit down here a little bit. And we'll create another one here. Again, just our tab key will toggle between those. And we'll see when we hit OK, all those annotations are actually added underneath our front view automatically for us. And maybe we want to create some more annotations on a different view. Let's just go ahead and create another view. We'll create this one as our side view, just for an example. And again, we can use any one of the types, but we'll just use the plane reference. And I always like putting my origin point somewhere that makes sense. And we'll go ahead and activate <clears throat> our new side view. If we just right click, you can see all the various options to orient to to see your orientation, or just double click on it, that will orient it as well. So we'll create some annotations here as well. And the annotations are similar to what you would find in our cost and draft environment where you can just pick a point in a plane to get a, a linear dimension or point to point will give you a parallel type dimension or selecting an edge will give you that dimension off the edge. If you want to create an angular dimension, you simply select on the angle, com, angular dimension command, pick two points, then you can place your angle dimension. You can also add additional annotation types like text with notes, uh, note text information, Weld callouts, rough callouts. So, for example, if we want to add a surface finish, we can select this edge here, type in some information or values that we want to use, the various types of annotations, and we can place that or drag it off just to show that that roughness symbol is created. You can also do GDNT, where you can actually do a, 
a plane reference in here, put in all your various information inside of here and place that as well out here and actually add datum planes as well. In our case I just won't really create that annotation. I'll just give you an example but you can create those annotations. Now if we go again double click on our front view we can see that those viewing orientations. We double click on our side view we can see those viewing or orientations. However if you rotate around you'll notice that all these are visible. So if someone comes into your file you share this file with IronCAD Compose or other IronCAD applications people would see all these annotations. There's ways to control what's visible by creating groups. For example, if you select all your annotations and you can create a new group, we can say this will be our front uh, display. And we'll go ahead and create another one again with all the annotations selected. We'll create another group called side display. And once you have these views, if you go ahead and activate one of these, you can actually control what's visible in that. So we only want the side view, in this case, that's visible. So we'll just go ahead and hide these other viewing orientations. If we go into our front view and activate it, you can actually do the same thing. So we can go ahead and hide all these, except for our front. We want to be visible, so we'll just select these particular views, and we can hide those selected views. So now when you toggle between these again just activate those views you can see those are the only annotations available for the side and for the front. If you activate it you'll see those are only visible annotations for that. So instead of toggling on the views themselves users can toggle on your groups to get those displays. When you create your, di your groupings it's based on your current viewing direction so notice my viewing direction is at this angle. If I wanted the front display I would have rotated to the front to create that orientation or the side to change its its side orientation as well. So that gives you a very handy way to create your various groups and you can go back to your default uh, group if you wish to uh, display all your annotations. It gives you a very handy way. The other nice thing about the PMIs is all this information can transfer into the drawing environment. So you simply just go into the Casa Draft and create a new Casa Draft document. and we'll go ahead and create a view. In this case we'll just create the primary front view of this. And If you go to your options you'll see some uh, options here. You'll notice they're grayed out by default when you're under the measurement dimension type. But if you go ahead and select the real dimension type you can actually have it transfer over your PMI dimensions. And If you go ahead and hit OK we should see all our view with all our annotations that we created for that particular viewing orientation automatically appear and show. In this case I have my units set at a different unit so that's why the values are a little bit different but you can see that they automatically transfer to save you time on the detailing end of the, end of the process. So a very nice enhancement for the 2015 of IronCAD to allow you to create all these PMI uh, annotation types. And you can also share this data not only again with IronCAD but you can send it into Compose to someone that can download the free Compose product and they can review your models for the specific annotations and dimension types on the 3D side.